have these numbers, you need to select the linear range. Okay, so see where the numbers stop changing. Okay, because we're only going to do the linear part. Okay. Um, so we're going to, so for example, here, you see the numbers kind of stop changing after about after nine minutes, and then uh, here it's also, on both of these it's after nine minutes. Okay, so these are the, this is what we're going to do. And so we're going to select first the, so we're going to make the first graph. So you need to select these, this group of numbers. And then, and so if you have a Mac, this is going to look a little bit different. Okay, this is PC, but you still should have the same menus. Yeah. Okay, so to go to insert, and here you need this uh, scatter plot. Um, and you need, you need to get this scatter plot here. Um, and so you can move this chart so it's in a convenient location. And then uh, on this, we're going to need trend, uh, trend lines. So I clicked on that plus, okay, is to get the menu for chart elements. Um, I think on the Mac, this, this thing is, uh, in some versions, it's up, up in, um, in the upper corner. Uh, but you need to get into this menu and you need to click on trend line, click uh, check that, and then go here for more options go to more options and then here uh, if you need to do is uh, go to set intercept okay everybody with me on this uh, and we set intercept uh, at 0, 0.0 okay um, and so that you see created the second line here okay so we're going to close that um, Going to expand this just a little, um, and so we're going to. I'm going to delete that first line that was not that wasn't going through zero zero. Um, see that first line is just going to get rid of. Okay, so the only line we have now is the one that goes through zero zero. Okay, um, and we're going to close this one again. Okay, so um, so that's the first one, and you know you, we can we, we can deal with titles and legends and all of that uh, in a little bit, and, it, and make sure that uh, the numbers are correct. So make sure that you have the absorbance on the y-axis. Make sure you have the time on the x-axis. Okay, because sometimes you know, depending on how you enter these, and sometimes it misinterprets, and then you have the axis in the wrong order. If you have the axis in the wrong order, you can reverse them. Okay, that's a separate function which we're not going into right now. The easiest way to do it is just delete the graph and then switch the order of your two columns. Okay. If you have a problem with the order with the axes, uh, but in this case it's correct. So, um, so now we need to add the second line to this. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do here is right click, and so on the Mac this may be something like command click. Okay, you guys know better than I, I don't know Macs that well, unfortunately. Uh, but on, on this, uh, so basically you need to right click and get this menu here. Okay, and uh, in here uh, I'm going to go to select data. Okay, and you will see this menu right here where. It, the first, the first line is already selected, so that's our first line here. Uh, and you can actually rename that for convenience. So you can click on that and go edit and give it a name, something like undiluted, okay? So that, that that's actually on your graph and that's a click okay. But now um, we need to add another one here. Okay, and we can call this diluted. Um, and now we're going to select X values and Y values for this one. Okay, and this is going to be from our second data set, which is here for the diluted data set. Okay? Um, and so just like you always do in Excel, you click on here, 
and this is going to be x values, so x values are going to be time. So we select, and again we go to 9, select that, and then select these for y. Okay, these are absorbances. And unfortunately, we have to select them separately. Okay, you can't just select the whole block. Why? I don't know. But that's what it is. So hopefully, uh, so now we have both of these checked. Okay, <coughs> make sure they're both checked. And then, see that that has a appliance points for the second line. Okay. Now we're going to click on one of these. And they're going to be selected. Okay, and now, uh, let's see. Now we need to, hold on, how do I? Okay, so, uh, okay, now we go here and go to add trend line. So this is right click. Uh, and then we see a trend line there again, okay? And then for this trend line, again, set intercept at zero. Um, and that should pretty much do it, okay? And then here, we could say add legend. And if you do, uh, this will tell you undiluted, diluted by color, okay? But this isn't the whole legend you need to do. So now you need to go here and write actually an actual legend for this. Okay? Uh, which, an example of which you can see uh, on the original one that I showed you. And you can download this under uh, the same place where you download the slides for the lab. Okay? Um, and of course, now you, know, you can add. Um, a title to this, uh, so you can add um, you can add um, access titles. Uh, you can add chart title, okay. Um, and so, and so you just click on these boxes and you can fill in uh, whatever is necessary there. But basically, this is how you get two lines on the same thing, okay. Now, if you need a third line here. Okay, you just right click on this chart. Okay, go to select data again, and you know, you add the third one and the fourth one and as many as you need. Okay? So, uh, again, in your version of Excel, this may look a little different, but generally that should be similar. Okay, so, um, so that's what we're gonna put 